hello everyone. Um, uh, so at least uh, two, I think about a few days ago at E3, which I wasn't there for the record. Uh, apparently there's a new Gears of War 5 trailer, or a like teaser trailer or something like that. Um, haven't watched it at all. At all. So I'm go just going to grab my headphones for a second. Uh, Shaking this, my apologies. Um, so you probably can't hear it, but you, but if you watch along with me at the same time, um, so uh, yeah, that's um, my first reaction. I have not seen it, I have not seen it at all. So let's watch it. Oh, it could be Kate's thing, necklace thing. The end of Goods War 4. Oh, an excellent sail thing on a nice glacier. That's really amazing. Again, it looks like we're probably back underground. JD, um, I forgot his friend's name. Nicholas is a locus similar. Oh, a tearjerker moment, of course. Great action as always. Oh, is that a locust? I mean, the swarm. Gears 5, 2019. So, okay, that looks great. Um, what are we, now, what I really liked about this trailer is that it gives you a good glimpse of the plot enough. Not It's not too much to where you give it too much of it. It feels like it's enough to be like, okay, say, okay, they're focusing on um, the symbol that the, her necklace that her grandmother gave her when she was a kid, and which is like hinted at at the end of the end of the first, uh, not end of the first, but at the end of Gears of War 4. And I remember when, when I first beat the game, I was like, like, I immediately got that reference. I'm like, no way. And this is so smart because it looks like the trailer is picking up like a few years later. Like, it looks like um, JD is bald with a beard. I mean, that looks great. Um, and it looks like it's been like a few years. Uh, KD, I believe, has. It, looks like it's, it definitely looks like it's been more than a few years, and I really, really enjoy that a lot. Aspect like almost after the first one, they need a bit of a hiatus, a stop, and let the military do this, deal with it. Now, it's more personal for her, she's a personal attachment. Like Locus are back, knowing he's had a connection with all the all other retired gears like Marcus and uh, Baron Cole. Um, rest in peace, Dom. Um, uh, yeah, it just looks really great. I love the little hints and teases here and there. It feels like it's just enough to really let your sink teeth, let your teeth really sink into it. It may not, in my mind, match the same majestic teaser trailer that, that we got in twenty in early 2016 with the um, Saga Silence uh, song to it, which I thought was amazing. Um, but it definitely had a good... It definitely felt like it was a good balance of both enough story. Again, the, the story feels appropriate to where it needs to be focused on, on that necklace, on what it means to her. The, the locusts are still coming back, and uh, yeah, it looks great. The voice acting as always looks wonderful. I like how it kind of does focus more on her than on JD Phoenix's 
Digital Four was more of a JD story. And the same, funny thing, the same thing about First Gears of War. The first Gears of War is kind of a bit of, excuse me, uh, it's mostly a bit of um, Marcus's story. But it's also about like how to train with that, that, that Miss Bomb and Ram. Then the second one is a bit more lenient on Dom, and then the third kind of pivots back into bear, uh, into Marcus's story. So hopefully, this um, Gears of War four, five, and six. Again, I don't know Gears of War six will happen, um, but probably will lean back into that type of story arc of JD to KD, then back to JD, uh, as it did originally with Marcus, then Dom, then back to Marcus in the third. Um, and you know what? My opinions on the Gears of War videos I made before in 2016 still hold up in my opinion of those videos. I, I still stand by the way I wrecked the games, and I still stand by that I enjoy them all the great degrees. Granted, Gears of War Judgment have a, in my opinion, as much as I love Gears of War Judgment, it has a lot of problems. Um, and really, it's like, they're amazing. I love them all. It's a huge, huge fan. It's one of my favorite franchises ever. So yeah. From a huge Gears of War fan, I am very much excited. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully, as always, everyone, you'll find the link for this down below. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the future for more, for more videos. As always, till then, thank you very much. And I'm really tired and I need to go to sleep because I work early. Till then, bye bye.